Hello and welcome to Inner Grid TV in association with Engerati. I'm now joined by uh, Jal Torres, who's the chairman for EDSO for Smart Grids, but also the CEO of uh, uh, EDP Distribution. So, <laughs> so we've got a lot of people here with, with, with two hats on. Uh, but firstly, welcome. Nice to see you again. Thank you. Uh, and um, there, uh, there's been a lot of talk uh, about uh, in in this conference about integration and and, and uh, distribution companies needing to work with transition companies, but also distribution companies needing to work with other companies. Uh, and 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 you gave a, a, a you know you gave a message to to this community, but it'd be quite nice for you to repeat that. So, uh, what is from where you are with your experience, with both your hats on, what is your message to distribution companies? You know, what, do, what needs to happen now? Well, <coughs> the DSOs are there for decades. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we are very proud of the work we have done. Especially on quality of service. Everyone feel it in Europe. The, the blackout is something that uh, we, d we don't know, right? Yes. Yeah, it, 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 it. And w we did it uh, with a very cost-efficient activity. We are a regulated company, and we, are positive, we have a positive contribution for the final tariff, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. The grids have a positive contribution for us. And uh, we integrate renewables in the last 10 years in a very easy way. Sometimes uh, different countries ask us, how can you integrate so many uh, renewables uh, uh, power plants and uh, the lights are keeping... Uh, yeah, they're, they're not exploding everywhere, yes, right? And <laughs> so, <laughs> and so the first message that we did well mm. in, the, in, the, in the past, but we have new challenges now. Because of the, the new the micro generation, the electric mobility, uh, and especially the consumer behavior. They want to know what's happening with the, the electricity they, they use at home. They, they want to understand how the bill is uh, uh, found. So, this, uh, this new challenge. And we came for this energy transformation process in Europe. And the DSOs want to have a crucial role on that. We used to be close to the consumer. Uh, the key message from the European Union, and we are following it in a very close way, uh, is that the customer is in the center of this uh, big change. We used to be close to them. Mm -hmm. So we are ready to keep this position and get that role. Mm. For that, we need to have competencies for that and to be able to understand the change around, around us. So, so, so does that mean that the, the, the DSOs need to change more uh, from, and, and you said it yourself, you know, the DSOs are excellent engineering organizations. That's effectively what yeah, they are, yeah. right? Uh, 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 very excellent engineering organizations. You throw a problem at them, they're engineers, they'll solve it. They'll find a way around it. Are you, uh, are you saying that, we, uh, uh, that within those organizations you need a little bit of a, 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 a culture change that uh, uh, as keeping that engineering excellence but adding to it a, a, a communications and an interaction excellence yes. so that you know, the consumer this becomes... Two of yeah. the competence we yeah. need. Yeah. And we believe that, on the other side, we believe that the change that we need in the energy sector in Europe requires a DSO with a different role. Or we used to say not a different role, but an evolving role. And we are working on it in associations like ESO. We work together. We build solutions. We share. We shared uh, our experience. We organize with the TSOs these event, events like this one, with innovation applied for on reality. And so, uh, 
what I, I want to say is that we did well and we are ready for this new, mm. new agenda. And, uh, and another thing that uh, uh, you uh, and I were talking about a little bit off air, you're, you're also saying that you know, we need to uh, include everybody in this. So, so this is not just the big distribution organizations, it's the smaller ones. And also increasingly I'm seeing a trend where communities are trying to be their own energy system. You know. Uh, how do you see that inclusion working, that, uh, th those partnerships happening? <coughs> we are engaged to build this DSO entity that was uh, proposed by the Commission. And ETSO uh, offer the availability uh, as association to uh, get a positive approach for that. Not just the major uh, DSOs, but also to find a solution that the small one can be part of it. We believe that, and I, I said it on my, in my opening speech, we want to be the enabler that not just the small DSOs, but even aggregators, local uh, communities, we feel that uh, we m must be uh, the platform in a way that new actors can be in this in this field offering new service because we are moved by this idea that at the end of the day the customer must be empowered must feel that the sector is working with for them, them and for them uh, uh, so in the, uh, on the uh, on that note and and, and going maybe closer to your other job at EDP uh, you know what what are the lessons that that you know you have learned it with uh, maybe you personally but also as an organization within yeah. EDP that uh, um, that you think need to be applied to you know that announcement that's made that that, that, that uh, you know in creating this sort of European harmony yeah, yeah. well is <coughs> um, uh, a very different um, dossiers to manage in this information uh, when I think about the management of a DSO. Yes. And thinking about uh, ADP distribution, we really want to change and to be a digital smart DS DSO. So we are moving in that direction. Uh, for, for in the next few days, we'll, uh, we'll uh, uh, install more than 1 million smart meters in Portugal, uh, 1.3 million at the end of the year. Uh, we, are, we are now doing a huge investment on IT to support this activity. To, and uh, I really believe that the famous big data will happen in the DSO activity. Mm -hmm. And we well, it has to, otherwise you, you, you can't join all of this up, because yes. that's one of the other messages. It's like the, 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 the data and the actionable insight it gives you is, is the glue that connects For everything, everything, right? And yeah. We think we can be the enable of that data mm. for different actors coming to the, to, the, to, the, to, the, to the sector. And we are working on that data management in a very close way with the TSOs, we published a good document uh, uh, last year about that. And so now analytics and uh, is, is coming as a, one of the major competencies inside the company of ADP distribution. Of course, we need to prepare our people for that. Mm. We are looking for new people with uh, different skills. Um, but we can lose the the, the COVID. We, we have a we have a, a tragedy last week in Portugal with a fire in mm. the center of the country, mm. and we rebuilt the grid in less than a week. And we need to to do it, and uh, at the same time, this yeah. innovation yeah. Uh, activities. So we can't lose that uh, mm. that uh, uh, characters mm. we have. But we need to go in a mm. open new windows in our in our work, mm. and it leads us for 
a big transformation on process, on people, finally on the company. So it's a, a huge. Uh, it's a huge agenda. culture change. Right? Yes. You, you know, cause you, you, we need to be in the yeah. center of the transformation. We yeah. need to change the yeah. companies. Yeah. We need to explain. We need to be an enabler. We need to be active on yeah. Brussels. Uh, speaking about the clean energy package, yeah. and we need to build the the, the, the SEO body. Mm -hmm. So the agenda is fantastic. We are very motivated at EDSO. We work very well, very close. Yeah. It's a young association, just uh, yeah. less than ten years, but we were working working very well. We share uh, common ideas, and we arrive for this innovative uh, conference in a very positive uh, positive so attitude I, I, but one of the other things that i feel this 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 sector needs to do is you know when you, when you've got the young talent that's in the universities now and so on and they're studying it and uh, and things like that i am pretty sure the first thing in their mind is not hey i'm going to work for a dso because they're doing cool stuff in on data analytics yeah. right the first people they're like going, oh, I want a job at Google or Facebook and yeah. all that sort of stuff. You know, I I feel that as an industry, we need to do a little bit more to to kind of sort of come out and say, look, this is sexy. Yeah. You know, it is cool. Uh, you know, uh, 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 what do you think we can do to to kind of put that message out there? Well, I agree with you. Mm. It used to be seen as traditional companies. That's why we are engaged in conferences like this one. It's about innovation in a way to, to explain that we, we are innovative companies. We have been innovative uh, since the beginning, but not in a very, uh, not communicating very well that idea. What we can do is to invite the young people to come to for a conference like this one and inside the companies to find projects like the European project we are engaged, the 20 projects that we are presented to in this uh, inaugurated 2020. And in a way that they can be part of it, they can be active, and they, they feel that they are doing different things, they are doing the transformation of the, the, the sector. We, we need to do it day by day, because as you, I agree with you, our point zero is not so, <laughs> so good. <laughs> exactly. But, uh, in, in, case of, in our case, at the Pedro we are 200 engineers in the last uh, five years, and I feel they are very active because all of them, maybe 95% of them, still work for us and we try that. Well, uh, uh, an, an engineer is always happy when they're solving a problem. Right? Yes, yeah, exactly. An engineer gets very bored when everything works. <laughs> and, and, <laughs> and I was looking for the, 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 the projects in the, the room, yeah. and, and I just asked, is everything going well? Yeah. And they know that I'm an engineer. Yeah. And they said, of course, we have problems. But yeah. that's the question. Yeah. It's impossible to, to speak about innovation without risk, exactly. without uh, the things that we need to solve and to find a different solution because the first one doesn't work. Mm. So, <coughs> uh, but uh, I'm very confident in the, in, the, in the future for the DSOs and we are trying to explain that we are able, we did well in the past and we can, we can do a great job for the future. And on that note, we will leave it. Uh, Yao Torres, as ever, Great pleasure to meet you and, and, and talk to you. Thank you as well for watching Integrate TV in association with Enjirati. Thanks for tuning in. Mm -hmm.